Well, we're on severe flood warning, so welcome. It's 8.42 in the morning and we're just cocked. For the whole week, it's supposed to rain steady, over 80% chance of rain hour by hour until tomorrow morning at I think about 2 o'clock. Uh, so we are going to be very wet. In fact, we are already. You can see the roads are just a mass of puddles. So we'll deal with what we have. Today's Monday. And uh, I'm not really doing anything except from cleaning my exhaust tips again with the proper tools and well, maybe we'll learn something today at the camp. Well, the school is actually closed. As you can see, there's nobody there. And Actually, I'm kidding. It's 2.08 p.m. and I was just thinking to myself, this is exactly what it looked like when I came in this morning. It is dark, low, overcast clouds, and it's just raining a little bit harder now. The whole day has been exactly like this. It is just cocked. Everything is in flood watch around here and flood warning. It's just rained for a solid 48 hours or 24 hours now and it's going to continue. It's probably been more than 24 hours. And then there's places in the world, I know Texas had a big drought and they don't get a lot of rain. And all we do is we get rain here. This is such a pit. It just rains and clouds up and pisses some more all over my parade. Just see the puddles over here. Just ruined in a hydroplane if this keeps up, if I go in any faster than 30 through here. Just dicker. How you doing, Chris Bangle? Well, I'm over at the bank now, so I need to go in and deposit my winnings. And uh, then I'm going to run over to Lowe's, get that drill bit, and uh, maybe we'll start on my tailpipes. All right, let's try this again. All right, we're back from Lowe's. I also stopped at Ace Hardware, uh, which is a local hardware store, and picked this up which is a two inch, I don't even know if it's gonna fit, two inch thing that I figure I can use, yeah, it looks like it's gonna fit, at the end to go in and just uh, kinda clean it up or maybe I'll actually use it to get the carbon out, but over at Lowe's, I also got some paper towels. I got this thing, uh, which I think is gonna be pretty good. Um, it's very hard, it's for 3200 RPM. I have no idea what my drill is, probably more than that, I don't know. Uh, what we plugged in? No, it's not plugged in. So, I'll give this a shot, I'll get my light down here, and I'll let you know how it comes. Alright, it has been about 30 minutes, and here is what we have. Ah, uh, yeah. Now that looks nice, doesn't it? If we'll come over to the other side, we'll see that is just completely black and caked with crap, whereas this side looks really good. Now, I've gotten as far in there as I can with these tools, and as much of it as I can, but nobody gets down and looks at it like that. The lowest you're going to see it is about from here, and it looks really good. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I need to buy online, I forgot last night, the exterior uh, outside of the tip um, metal cleaner, which is this German product that they use on metals and some metal cleaner. I forget what it's called. I'll tell you later when I order. It's 15 bucks. I don't know what shipping's going to be. So total time in the left tips is probably going to be about 45 minutes. So I've got two tips, 200 horses done. We'll get over there and see how far I can get on this side before I conk out. Look how much paper towels I've used. How many? I've used uh, maybe a third of the roll, so it's a good thing I bought some. But I, I did use the harder tip, and I don't want to use this much. This does actually eat away at the stainless steel, which I had to use to get some of the stuff off. So I'm pretty gentle with this. I only use it where it's really baked on, and, and this tool is really great. That seems to be working really well. So I'll give you an update in a little bit, but uh, that's what we got so far. And there's the before and after of the right side. Um, took about 25 minutes inside. I ran into the same little bit of problems on the side there, but when you stand up, I have the camera down below my waist right now, and uh, you can't even see it. So I got kind of tired and uh, went inside, got something to eat, stretched a little bit. You know, I've been down out here on my knees behind my car for like probably uh, 40 minutes already today. So I'm going to get the other side done and then that's it for today. And I'm sure that through the winter, they're going to need a real light buffing again in the spring with, with this tip on here. But that's no problem. So we're making good time. You may proceed. <laughs> well, we got pie. Excellent pie. Excellent pie. Yeah. Without Gardner. Without, without Gardner, but we have Jack, another member of the Yacht Club. Mm -hmm. He's back again. 
And we got this dick. Just got a lot of emails done. I've actually got the inbox down to five. And I'm having a problem reading one of them right now. I don't know if it's the new YouTuber or what's going on, but if I go over here, I'm in the E39 source account. Go down the inbox, and I have this email here from, or this message here. I click the title to read it, and all it does is load the picture. And it's all the way zoomed out. There's no text. But if I go back over to mail, I can read a lot of it, but there's more that I want to read. So I click more, I come back over here, and I click the name of the message, and it just shows me this picture. So it's been doing this for days. I haven't replied to the user yet, and I want to. So I'm going to have to reply to him and tell him to break it up into a couple different messages. Really annoying. I don't know if it's because he has a super high-res picture that's taken up all this space. Because if I come over back to inbox and uh, go to a different message, it works fine. So I don't get that. Kind of annoying. Oh yeah, it's 11 o'clock. I have a test and a quiz tomorrow that I'm going to go and study for and take some last minute notes. I've already taken a shower. There's one less thing I need to do tonight. I've got 17 videos in the queue. That's going to take up more time. But that is it for today. Back to you tomorrow, Tuesday. Something was going on tomorrow on Tuesday. I don't know. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.